Welcome back everybody to another episode of Man Bites Film. This week we're going to be reviewing two great documentaries that I've discovered on Netflix. First one I want to go straight into is Sour Grapes. This is a 2016 film, uh, runs about 85 minutes and in my rating it's an 8 out of 10. This revolves around Rudy Karana... I don't know his full name, I can't pronounce it. Um, some oriental dude that basically is a con artist, all right? The man makes fake wine for these really uptight, classy uh, wine connoisseurs, millionaires and billionaires type of thing. The man is awesome in this film, okay? It revolves around how he was able to con and duke these millionaires and billionaires and real true wine connoisseurs into buying his pirated wine bottles for millions and millions of dollars. This man was able to con these guys so good. And this documentary revolves around how he was able to do that and all these guys that he duped and it is hilarious some of the interviews that go on the way that they they portray the the, the ceos and all that stuff they're like uh, you know hey it it tastes just like it so you know what hey as long as it tastes just like it i'm okay with it i got conned but uh, oh well Sometimes you win some, sometimes you lose some. I just found that hilarious, the way that he just said that. He just got conned by millions of dollars to buy this wine bottle that tastes just like the other wine, but it's not that one. And it's just fascinating the way that this guy was able to con them. He started off as basically buying these, these bottles in in uh, auctions and all that stuff and was able to get into the, the, the inner circle of the wine connoisseur um, culture I guess you could say I never knew that existed I guess my mom drinks a lot of wine and all that stuff but damn that's a lot of wine like the the way that this guy would buy he would buy cases and cases and spend hundreds of thousands of dollars and everybody's like, who's this guy? He's just coming in. He's not old like us. He's not decrepit. He's not a millionaire or billionaire. He's just this random uh, oriental dude that's young buying all this wine up. Who the hell is he? So they all got interested. It's very much like a, like a, I can't even imagine. Like if they do like a narrative film of, of this guy, it's going to be like, oh, uh, what's his face's uh, film that came out? Wolf of Wall Street style for for wine that's how this guy was it's awesome how how he just built this empire from nothing and when he gets discovered he actually find that you actually find that he would buy old bottles and old corks and buy them from the junkyard and then refurbish them in such a way so he could stick his made wine at home into these bottles and he he found the chemistry behind each of the flavors the man had such an impeccable taste palette that he would be able to spot like exactly how that thing tasted and modify it just to taste exactly like the million dollar wine when he's only making it for like 10 20 dollars and he's not the real thing awesome so cool and it's kind of this cat and mouse game in the documentary, but not at the same time. It's very informative, but it doesn't have an overarching story, which you would think that would be a problem, but you're having so much fun hearing all these different tales and everything that you just completely suspend reality watching this film. So I definitely give this an 8 out of 10. It's called Sour Grapes. It's a documentary streaming on Netflix right now. And it's so worth your time. Please check this out. I hope you guys enjoy this. The second film that I want to review today is Indie Games, the movie. 
and this is a 2012 film it's about 93 minutes and it is the basically it revolves around the fun and stressful art of building a world from scratch in indie games um, these guys in their basement in their their freaking uh, rooms they build these games from scratch one or two people only and it's not like these huge software giant empires that are hundreds and hundreds of thousands of, of engineers and, and, and artists to put together a game it's only two people and they put these games together and package them ready to go and they put their heart and sweat and soul into these games and it's so interesting watching them develop from inception of the game to the final product and putting it out there, putting it on the line, putting their their work, their hard efforts out on the line and hoping for the best. There's failures in this film, there's success stories. It's so interesting to watch. And I'm not a gamer, but holy crap, this this documentary just it plays so perfectly into into how hard it is to release a game a movie any type of art form i mean even this program takes a lot of effort but nowhere near as much the dedication of years and years of work that goes into a game or movie and wow i could only imagine how stressful and how fulfilling it must be to see the final product whether it's a failure or not at least you gave it your all at least you know you tried and you see it from beginning to end in this movie you see their hearts and souls on their sleeve and that calls for a very interesting documentary and it follows three or four um, games being built from inception to all the way to the end being put on the on the Microsoft marketplace and some failed some didn't some completely glitched up and weren't released until years after the documentary was finished there's one that just released last year that's how like crazy it was to get out so these type of things is very interesting uh, two of the ones that I remember right offhand is uh, Super Meat Boy and the Fez those are the two that I can remember off the, offhand that, that are the games and it's so interesting some of these are just basic fun games and some are really intense storylines so you have full spectrum and in this uh, documentary they, they study that full spectrum which is really cool so I hope you guys really enjoy these two and really get a chance to watch these again it's sour grapes and the indie games the movie um, both of these are streaming on Netflix so easy access for both of them and I hope to see you guys next week for another episode of Man Bites Film